welcome to the family channel. Thank you for tuning in. And we are back with another Dirty Max update. And I gotta say, after the last, in the last upload, I was a little bit, you know, maybe low energy. I was low energy jab there for a second um, because I was kind of like, I guess, overwhelmed with the OG project. I've got a lot of other stuff going on. We got the, the Blazers about to go in for the solid axle, which I can't wait for. Got the smart car, had this thing running. So there was a lot going on. But after I did a few little things here, I'm getting more and more excited. And the overwhelming response from you guys was finish the project and then we'll decide what to do with it. Which, like I said, that's how I was leaning anyway. You guys know me, I like to, if I say I'm going to do something on the channel, I do it. Unless like some crazy circumstance happens where I can't get a car or whatever, like, you know, what happened with the first SVJ sale. Um, you know, I, I like to do what I say, even if it's a project that I know I'm not going to keep long term, like the Grandpa Vet or the Viper, because you know I kind of knew that I wasn't going to be super into those cars. I still do it for the experience and because I like to keep my word. So I was going I was going to finish this anyway, um, but now I'm a little bit more motivated because I've actually made a lot of progress. Number one, you'll notice all the purple, the horrendous purple is gone. So I got all the purple off. And honestly, after seeing that, it got me a lot more excited because it just I don't know, for some reason with the purple on, I felt very like, it just looked like trash. And I guess I kind of felt like the whole thing was trash. But after getting that off, I'm feeling much better. So we got that off. I painted the inner fenders just to kind of see how that would look. I'm gonna have the full custom ones made, but also I started uh, really kind of nailing down what I want to do with the color of the truck. So I had some spray left over from like all those years ago. Um, I had a little spray can of matched. Uh, this is actually, it's really good. You can buy these at Pep Boys or AutoZone, you know, wherever, whatever local store you guys have near you. It's color matched. So if you have like, you know, a Ford truck, a Dodge truck, a Chevy truck, more than likely they'll have this at your local store. Now, of course you can order it online too. So I had this left over and I just started spraying just to kind of see like how it would look. I figured out what the hell. And uh, I have to say it looks really good. Hold on, this is in the shadow. Let me do a fresh one here for you so you can see. It doesn't matter, it's all gonna get painted anyway. So it really doesn't matter. But just to you know, spray it on here, obviously this is not permanent in any way. This is all gonna be sanded down, so it's no big deal. But I just wanted to see you know, how it would kind of look if it was all the OG color. And I was pretty happy with it. I think it looks, oh, I got some on the windshield. <laughs> Whatever, I can get wiped off. But I was pretty happy with it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe go with the OG paint color and keep the whole truck silver birch metallic. What do you guys think? Do you like this color for it? You know, I wanted to maybe do something different, but after seeing that, you know, maybe it'd be cool to keep it the OG color after all. So I was playing around with that. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, again, for a paint, we're just talking a paint can here. So it's not gonna be a, a great match, but um, it's actually better than that. It, it looks better. Like I've used this on metal before, like on the truck and it looks really close. I guess on the uh, fiberglass, it looks, it comes out a little bit different. But yeah, let me know what you think about uh, doing that. And also the mirrors too. I for sure wanna color match those because these are old anyway. I think that'll look really good. Like that'll look really good when the whole thing is color matched. Now the other thing I wasn't sure on was, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do silver birch for the whole truck get the mirrors done. I have new lights from Recon as well, uh, which are really cool. New cab lights. Those are really old. You can see a little purple overspray there, but I got new uh, Recon cab lights. Those will look good. The Recon LED tail lights are in there still. So the only other thing I wasn't sure on was, should I do the bumper in color match as well? And I started kind of playing around with that and i like it although i'm also worried about this not being the same shade seeing as though it's a different material than the rest of the truck um but i kind of think that would look good that's what i really need your help on uh, do you think i should color match the bumper or leave it black i'm leaning towards uh leaving it black because i think it would be a good accent i think doing the bumper and the mirrors and everything else i think that might be too much so it might be nice to leave the bumper black also of course it's easier to clean and all leave a comment we'll see what you guys think or I, I don't know i really don't know if people are gonna i have a feeling more people are gonna say leave it black but i might want to color match it you know it's been black its whole life maybe uh change it up a little bit still not for sure if i like those wheels and tires i might want wider ones but again we'll see on that uh i did fix the tailgate as well so that works now and the old uh bumpers in there so maybe 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet on the bumper. Either color match or not. One thing I wanted to do in this video that I didn't do in the last one was at least let you guys hear it fire the old girl up. And I should really drive it every once in a while. I haven't driven it since it got back really, but I should do that to keep the batteries charged up. I never knew what that noise was. It's done that for a while. I guess glow plugs probably don't need to be... I'm so used to doing that with this truck with the glow plugs, but it's 100 degrees. There she is. Fired right up. Fired right up. Some revs here in a second. Let her warm up and then uh, let's blow some smoke. Still have the switch here. Five is the uh, rolling cold tune. Let's see. like a freaking airplane. That's epic, that's epic. <laughs> oh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't kind of miss that. All uh, right, that ain't bad. All right, that ain't bad. So I'll keep working on it. Next update, I think, for you guys will be, though, I think we're kind of at paint. I think that should be the next update. We'll be getting her painted. I mean, I don't see what I, and the minor body work. Um, you know, I'll probably do that before I do the fender liners. I'll take that over to uh, Regal Metalworks and have that done, custom metal fender liners. And then she should be good. Then maybe, you know, full detail or something, just get all the little odds and ends taken care of. But she's getting there. I think I'm gonna do wheels and tires. I need something that it sticks out. I need them to stick out a little bit more because it doesn't look quite right now with the wide body. These would be good if it was stock, but with the wide body, I kind of want something that's gonna be out here like this maybe, a little bit more. And I need like a wider tire. I could put a spacer on it, but I think the tire itself looks too skinny with the truck being that wide. I think a 1350, these are only a 1250, I believe. Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 1250 so maybe even a yeah maybe even a 37 1350 like what's on the trx would be enough to make it look just a little bit wider and make it look a little bit better um but yeah she's getting there i mean you heard the noise she lives and next stop i think will be paint so hope you hope you guys enjoyed another og update maybe i can run it over and run the smart car over with it um but if you did enjoy give it a thumbs up thank you all for watching and take care i'll see you in the next one for the family channel